Welcome to Valente Brothers TV. Once again, we're back to Valente Brothers headquarters in North Miami Beach today to talk about a subject that's been talked a lot about recently, which is Jiu Jitsu as a self defense system. There's been a lot of talk about sport Jiu Jitsu versus self defense, especially recently with Master Hixel's announcement of his um, project and his federation. So, Pedro, tell us your thoughts. How does the self-defense movement impact Planet Brothers? Well, we're actually very happy with this uh, renewed interest that we feel from the Jiu-Jitsu community in teaching Jiu-Jitsu as a complete art of self-defense. Going back to our roots, because Jiu-Jitsu has always been, starting with the samurai in Japan, and then in Brazil with the original Gracie brothers, Jiu-Jitsu was always promoted and taught as a complete fighting system, giving people the ability to survive a street assault in whatever situation it might occur, standing up or on the ground, having the tools of grappling, striking, takedowns, and understanding how to deal with surprise attacks, learning a comprehensive self-defense system. This has always been the basis of Jiu-Jitsu training. Recently, sport Jiu-Jitsu has become prevalent in many schools and only grappling, only the grappling element of Jiu-Jitsu is trained and taught. And this does not really match the primary interest of the students when they first look for Jiu-Jitsu. Because even today we, we had a poll on our Valente Brothers Facebook page and the overwhelming ma majority almost 300, people, almost 300 participants in this poll. And, and I would say over 90, 95% of um, the people who responded to our poll said that they started training Jiu Jitsu, that their motivation to starting Jiu Jitsu was the superiority of Jiu Jitsu over other systems of self-defense. was for self-defense or either self-defense through just what Jiu Jitsu historically represents, but also through what Royce Gracie did originally in the Ultimate Fighting Championship and even other fighters as well. Exactly. And, and, and so it's important that we deliver to our students what they look for. Um, because if we don't, and the definition of Jiu Jitsu starts to change, instead of people seeing Jiu Jitsu as a complete fighting system, they start looking at Jiu Jitsu as a simple sport of grappling, then I believe that the growth of Jiu Jitsu will subside and might even um, regress. Revert, regress. Yeah. And that's a good point because we're very happy with the growth of sports Jiu Jitsu. Several friends of ours, even some of our teachers, have had a lot of success in sports Jiu Jitsu. And we think just like all the other sports, Sporting activities, it's great. People dedicate their lives to training and they, they, it's a lot of hard work and dedication, hopefully towards a healthier life. But the question remains, do we think, and that's the question I'll ask you, do you think that if Jiu Jitsu, which currently is not an Olympic sport and still very, very amateur, even though there's professional leagues now trying to establish, it's very difficult for a parent, for a mother, for a father to want his son, his daughter to grow up to be a jiu-jitsu professional um, competitor, especially with sports like basketball, football, soccer, and so many other sports that can give a son, his son, or his daughter the opportunity to have a scholarship in a university. Do you think that if jiu-jitsu Comes very similar to judo, which is Olympic, or taekwondo, which is Olympic. Do you think that it will continue to grow? Do you think that people will continue to look for jujitsu schools if the sole objective of a jujitsu school is to prepare someone for competition? Do you think that would happen? I think that most people who look for martial arts, who look for even combat sports, they're looking to be able to defend themselves, they're looking to feel secure. And obviously, in any sport, you have great athletes, you have the elite, 
you have those who become international champions, national champions, those who win tournaments. But that's a small percentage. And obviously, these people, they will, be, they will have an advantage in street fights. If they are attacked, they have a good chance to win just because of their athleticism. This is true, I think, with respect to all the combat sports, from boxing to kickboxing to wrestling to sambo to judo to sports jiu-jitsu. Probably also uh, NFL linebacker or an NBA power forward or a rugby player. I'm sure they'll, they'll do pretty well against the average person in a street confrontation. Absolutely, and that doesn't make basketball or rugby a complete system of self-defense even though these guys are able to defend themselves in the real fight. In order for someone to be able to claim that they teach self-defense, then we hope that they are providing their students with a comprehensive system of fighting that addresses all the different areas. And that I think it's, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's a lot to do with the scenarios that are presented in class. If you're starting your class, if 90% of the practice starts from the kneeling position, and if you're practicing scenarios that are very specific to sport jiu-jitsu competition, yes, this person will develop, as you said, as a tough grappler, tough fighter, but it's really not answering the questions that someone, an executive, a mother, someone who wants to look for the answers that we all, the questions that we all have, what if somebody grabs me from behind, if somebody sucker punches me, if somebody puts me in a headlock, or if somebody has a knife and tries to stab me. And that's why we care. Some people say, why do you care how people train? We actually respect and we think people have, it's a free world, people have the right to train whatever way they want. We respect, we choose not to do sports issues in our school. But we respect those who do tremendously. And we believe they have the right to train whatever the way they want. But we don't want the definition of jiu-jitsu to change. And we don't want the reputation of jiu-jitsu as a complete fighting system to diminish. One time they asked Grand Master Helio Grace in a TV show in 1967 in Brazil, what's the difference between jiu-jitsu and the other martial arts? And he said, well, the other martial arts are parts of jiu-jitsu. Karate teaches striking techniques, which Jiu-Jitsu has. Judo teaches throwing techniques, which Jiu-Jitsu has. Aikido teaches joint locks and joint manipulations, which Jiu-Jitsu also has. Jiu-Jitsu is everything combined in an efficient way that allows for a person who's not an athlete to be able to defend him or herself in a real fight. Even those who are not athletes, even those who are not gifted. I read an article recently where a sport jiu-jitsu promoter was saying that in sport jiu-jitsu everybody's tough, everybody can defend themselves because it takes a lot of hard work and sweat and those who can't make it are cut just like in a wrestling team. Well we want to benefit those who are cut. We want to benefit those who cannot be great athletes in a competitive sport by giving them the tools to have a better chance to survive a street encounter. It's very simple. People can practice Jiu-Jitsu whatever way they want. But I really respect many friends of mine, and we see a lot of people doing that, who are being honest. They are sport Jiu-Jitsu instructors. They teach sport Jiu-Jitsu, and they don't make claims that they are teaching self-defense. Just like when a student walks in through our doors and tells us, guys, I'm here. It's not common at all, but it happens. I'm here because I'm chasing medals. I want to become a world jiu-jitsu champion. We have said that a couple times, I think over the years that we've been yes. training, yeah. We say, look, this is not the best school for you. There are schools around the area who teach. They focus on sport jiu-jitsu that will prepare you for that better than our school. We're very honest with them. If you're looking for self-defense, if you're looking for a great place, great atmosphere, this is it. But if you're chasing medals, this is not the place to be. Again, the purpose is not 
to be negative. The purpose is just to contribute with our community. Everyone practicing Jiu Jitsu, all of our friends watching the video who teach Jiu Jitsu, we're all in the same boat. You like to use that analogy. When the tide rises, it, it raises all boats. All boats. We don't believe in putting down a Jiu Jitsu school to have success. We think that every Jiu Jitsu school out there needs to be doing a good job, needs to be clean, needs to be professional, needs to be on time, instructors need to be on time, the doors need to be open, the place needs to be well run. Because if not, it, 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 bad, it diminishes the reputation of Jiu Jitsu. And that's not good for us and that's not good for anybody. And, and, and we would like to, for those black belts, for those instructors, who feel like they want to learn self-defense, as we have many of them already training with us, and many have been contacting us because they know of the commitment of Valente Brothers to Jiu-Jitsu as a self-defense system. They know of our commitment to the stand-up self-defense program and the importance during a fight to be able to talk to someone and try to defuse the situation, try to de-escalate the situation and when that's not possible, dealing with the surprise sucker punch, dealing with weapons, dealing with an attack from behind, also the striking techniques and strategies of Jiu Jitsu and clinching strategies as well, the throwing techniques and takedowns, the ground fighting skills for a fight and the differences between grappling in a fight and grappling for sport Jiu Jitsu. And philosophy, and the philosophy. Jiu Everything we do is Jiu Jitsu from the time we wake up, if actually even the way we sleep is Jiu Jitsu, what the way we eat is Jiu Jitsu, the way we relate to our friends and family, and as you said, impossible street encounters, everything is Jiu Jitsu. So I think that as a Jiu Jitsu school, we all have the ability to provide something that is very wholesome, that is very complete, and that's the objective. And those of you who want to learn, our doors are open to you, because we believe that your success is our success. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you.